Liverpool legend John Burns, who is most remembered by English soccer fans for his turning individual goal for England against Brazil in 1984, has successfully conducted a soccer clinic at the Olympic Youth Development Center in Lusaka. At the Maracana Stadium in Rio de Janeiro, Burns collected the ball at the halfway line and beat five Brazilian defenders to score one of the most memorable goals ever achieved by an England player. He scored 12 goals in 79 appearances for England, but despite some notable contributions, his best performances always seem to come at club level with Liverpool. After an exhibition of free kicks with material member of parliament Mao Samba, a 1988 African Footballer of the Year winner Kanusha Walia, Baines was impressed with Zambia's love for the game and is hopeful that the Chipolo Polo will be at the World Cup one day. In terms of me understanding the passion that people have for football here and not being surprised by it, absolutely, because, you know, from knowing Kalusha for so many years and knowing the history of Zambian football, I know that it's a very, very popular sport and it doesn't surprise me at all to see the infrastructure here that they're providing for children, for sport. Okay, yes, it's football, but if you look around this complex here, and this is the first complex of its kind in the world. Going forward, Zambia's chances with these kids that are training in such facilities, do we have hope that Zambia can one day be at the World Cup? Absolutely. I mean, they nearly got to the World Cup. They won the African Nations. Look at how the African teams are developing, regularly qualifying for the World Cup. There's no reason why in the next four years, the next eight years, Zambia doesn't go to the World Cup and do well. Baines has also backed African coaches over European coaches to take up African countries. I said at the start that I'm happy for um, I'm happy for Stephen Keshi because local coaches need to have the respect. You don't have to go to Europe to get European coaches. You have good coaches here. But what they need is they need you to support them. They need you to trust them. They need you to respect them in the same way that you respect the European coaches. So Stephen Keshi and also Kwasi Apia in terms of what they did. So I'm glad for both of them. The Jamaican-born dribbler was the first high-profile black player to grace Anfield back in the 1980s, a time when racial abuse echoed around stadia across the land. He scored 70 goals for Liverpool in the 10 years he spent at the club. His intelligent football brain allowed him to dictate play with a minimum of movement. Short, sharp and measured passes became the key components of his game and with him orchestrating proceedings, possession was very rarely considered. Mike Mubanga, Movie TV Sports in Lusaka.